Hello, and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the teleport effect in VideoPad. Now, this is a lot easier to do than you probably think. So let's just get right to it. The first thing you want to do is you get your camera set up to where you're going to be having yourself being teleported from or to. And the first thing you do, and I'm just going to get out. You want to take a short little video, about 10, 15 seconds, depending how long you want before or after, whichever way you're going for the teleport. And don't worry about turning the camera off and on. And actually, I would actually just leave it, continue recording. That way you're not bumping it and moving it. And um, you can take care of splitting this up in VideoPad itself. Then you um, shoot the video that you want to do, like I am here. And of course, at the beginning of this video, you uh, see me teleport in. And uh, then after you're done, you just stop and... Be motionless like that for a few moments. And uh, then just walk off the screen. And once again, let it record for a few moments. And uh, then uh, take, load your video up on VideoPad. And uh, well, I'm going to teleport over to the computer. And we'll fire it up and get on VideoPad. And I'll show you how you take that video and do the teleport effect. So I'll see you there in just a moment. Beam me up. All right. I got video pad opened up here. <clears throat> so let's just get right into it. Now, um, what I have here is actually what we just watched, um, the intro to this video. And I'm going to show you how I put that together. Now, as you can see, it's just one video clip, and I have an empty screen with it has my background, and then I have me doing the video, and then of course, again at the end, I have um, an empty section where it's got the background, everything in there. It's just I'm not in it, and that's what we have to have to do this teleport effect. So um, to start with, let's split this clip up into the three parts we need. Oops, grab the wrong thing. Let's see, there's where I'm walking in. So we can split that right there. And right here, you see this? That's what you want to click. Split it. Now go back to the main clip. All right, that's this one. And then we want to split it. And there's where I walked off. We're going to split it again. There we go. Now we just need to edit those up really quick and we'll be good to go. So here's the first one. Let me play through. Now, I don't think we need 15 seconds of open, so we're going to cut this down, say, about five seconds worth. And then we'll put that down here. We'll check it. There we go. Oops, that works. So then next, we want the video of me doing the intro to this video. Nope. Sorry about that. That got to the end. All right. We should be just about right there. So what I need to do is I need to back that up a few seconds. There go right there, that should work. And we're gonna set that as the end point. Hmm. 
Now we do need to do the out point. That'll work right there. So we set that as the out. Now you see what we got is we got our middle here. So let's um, place this on the sequence at the end and we'll add it. Now we need our third clip, which is this one right here. All right, where it starts, I'm off. Um, we don't need it to be very long, so I'm just going to guesstimate. That should work right about there. So then we're going to take and we're going to place this on the sequence at the end. All right, now let's blow this up a little bit. Now, this is where the magic comes in. All right. Here, you click on this, and this is the um, the transitions. And that's how we're going to do the teleport effect. Click crossfade. Then go here, click crossfade. Now we've got our teleport. Now there is one more little thing to add. You want to have, like um, in Star Trek, they got the noise of the transporter making um you want to put something in there um you don't have to but it kind of makes it a little neater cooler so what i have here is i have an audio file and i took and shortened it up i went on the youtube's creator studio and they have um a whole bunch of royalty free music sound effects and stuff that you can use in your videos and I found something in the sci-fi section. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember what exactly it was called. And I just took a short clip out of it. It kind of sounded like something being transported. And what we're going to do is we're going to overlay this on the video. And what we want to do right there is where the transition goes in. So we want to do it just a little before. We're going to take and we want to do overlay on sequence at cursor. Add that. Now, I think, oh, move that out of the way. We're going to center that in there. Yeah, that should work. All right. Then what we're going to do is down here at the end, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to overlay on sequence at cursor. And get that. Oh, get that out of the way because it likes to snap on it if you leave that in there. There we go. All right. Now let's watch what happens at the beginning now. Welcome to the Z Hut. Today there we go. We teleported in and we even had sound effects. Now let's see how it looks when you teleport out. Beam me up. There you go. That's the teleport effect in VideoPad. Not too difficult to do at all, is it, Tom? Um, it's fun to play around with, um, lots of different applications and videos you might want to use this for. But Well, uh, I hope you found this information useful. You did. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I really would. So I'd like to um, thank you for joining us here today at the Z Hut. I hope you have a great day and have fun filming.